Hello, my name is May. Welcome to watch my tassel tutorial. I'm going to attach a tassel to my knitting project. So I will show you how to make a tassel. Uh, for this tassel you need, uh, of course, yarn, uh, some kind of uh, square or rectangle shape um, uh, template which you need for uh, measuring the loops of the yarn and then you need a tape measure and a crochet hook. So I'm using my um, foam as a template for this tassel. So I'm going to start with placing the yarn here and, and then I'm going to round making loops over this this template. If you are making many tassels you might want to count your loops. So I have now made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, a few more, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. And then you need scissors to, to cut this yarn like that. So what we are doing next is that we are measuring a yarn that is up approximately 40 centimeters, which makes 4 times 4 inches, so 16 inches. It was right about there. This isn't exact science, so this doesn't have to be exactly that, but it ha has to be around 2 times of uh, the length of your loop. So you will use crochet hook to help the yarn come out of there. And you pull it in the middle. Then I suggest that you make a knot that will be tight enough. For that's right. Then you will remove your yarn from the your template. Okay, I have one there. Um, yeah. Like that. Then you need another piece of yarn that is approximately also the 40 centimeters, 16 inches, so it's right about there. Like that. Then Then you will make this loop thing here. So with this yarn you make a loop and pull those ends through this loop like this. Tighten a bit and then you start rounding these loops like this. 
you may want to keep them nice and straight for better finished look. Like that. Not too many times so it doesn't look too bulky there. Then you need your crochet hook. Bring it through these loops and then catch these two yarns that you were uh, looping around the tassel. Mm. Yes, and then pull them through here so you will get those height and you can make one Oop. one extra knot here if you want to you can also just pull them through like that and hide these behind the tassel like that Then you will attach this to your shawl or wherever you want to attach it. So I'm taking my shawl and here I have still, I'm going to weave these ends but they are still there so don't mind about those. I'm going to just take my crochet hook up. <laughs> it's this is a tricky one. I will make another loop there. It's you know easier to get it from there like that. Then I'm just making a knot. There will be, uh, there are some uh, other ways to prevent knots too, but uh, this is the easiest way and the most convenient way. You just have to, to not, not if you use um, yarn that is, that is uh, different colors the knot will show you more but I, since I have the same yarn that I'm I have in my shawl it doesn't really matter here then you need your crochet hook then <clears throat> now that I have this one extra yarn here that is not from the tassel but from the shawl I need to be careful that it won't miss my shawl here you can use your crochet hook for making some extra knots here. Like that. And the last thing that you should do and actually I will now do it for this end too. That I will bring my crochet hook up under these, these looped yarns here. And then I'm just grabbing these extra ends and bringing them under here so they will kind of mix with my final tassel here like that and now the last thing that I have to do I have to find my <laughs> my <coughs> loops here and uh, cut them with scissors but this is something that you can actually do when 
you when finished you just have to find those okay now i think i have all my uh, loops here organized but as, as you can see they are different size even if i use my temples so after you have cut them and pulled them tight you still have to kind of do the final finishing for these these um, loops and these yarns and trim them out with your scissors as you can see they are different length but here we go and once you have done all the tassels that you need your for your shawl you may want to see that all the tassels are the same length oops there is this some little extra ply that has like this here you have your tassel 